Hi there, YouTube. It's the moment you've all been waiting for, the unboxing that we're all so, so hyped about. The PS5 controller. Just the controller. That's all I've got right now. But, I don't know, I figured I'd throw together a little video. Might as well. Let's see uh, what this thing looks like. This might be a little awkward to do one-handed, but I'm gonna uh, do the best I can. So, feels normal weight for the box, nothing too hefty. Um, note that it did say it would arrive on the 30th, and it has now arrived on the 29th, one day early. Yeah, I gotta do this two-handed. So, the PS5 itself release date is the 30th, and here's to hoping that'll arrive one day early too. So I got all day on the 12th to actually play. Well, looking at the box itself, brags about the haptic feedback, which I'm assuming is going to feel pretty similar to the HD rumble of the Switch. Adaptive triggers is nice, built-in mic, um, signature comfort, not just normal comfort. Oh, oh no, this is above and beyond that. All right. Get rid of that. It is snug in there. Come on. Oh. There's an easy pull tab that I'm too stupid to use. Come on. Why is this so hard? Am I breaking something? Oh no, I see. There we go. Okay. Here's the box within the box. All right. And we have our first sneak peek. There's an instruction manual. Don't need that right now. Before I get too hands-on with it, I want to check uh, if it comes with all the wires and stuff. No, I don't actually see any charging cables. That is a important thing to note. So if you are uh, getting one and you don't have a charging cable, I'm assuming the console itself will come with it. You're going to need that. So immediately picking this thing up, it's got some good heft to it. It feels quite nice. Um, you're going to see this posted all over Reddit where the grippies on there are actually tiny little circle, square, triangle Xs for the PlayStation logo. I doubt I can get a good enough shot of that. Let's see. Come on, focus. Yeah, you can maybe see it a little bit. I thought it'd feel a little sandpapery. Oops. But no, it feels just like a normal controller there. Um, little touchpad button there. It is a lot heavier. It feels way more durable. It feels like I could drop this thing and hurt my foot. It's kind of cute that the PS button is actually shaped like the PS logo. If I click it, does anything happen? Hey, it lights up. It's gonna look for a PS5, but there ain't nothing. So we got USB-C. Start with the D-pad. Feels like a normal little D-pad. I don't know, maybe a little smoother than uh, the previous ones. I like that they are all kind of connected as one unit, not individual buttons like the Switch. Very easy to move, smooth little joysticks. There's actually less resistance than I kind of like before. Here is the touchpad and the triggers. 
They got some bounce to them. Yeah, that's nice. It'll be good for um, if games can take advantage of that like Super Mario Sunshine did. I'm going to switch hands here. I kind of wish that they kept the color on the buttons there. Like the jet, like all white, all black kind of look. I know a lot of people critique that at first, but I like it. But a little thin layer of color would be nice to visually distinguish them as is right now. I don't know. It feels more Xboxy, which I don't necessarily like. Is that the other joystick? I'm gonna try quick. Both hands. Honestly, yeah. I mean, feels good. Um, it's hard to review a controller without an actual system for it, so I'm just gonna stop here. But thanks for watching. It was good to to finally get this and know how the shipping works. I'm excited for November 12th. See you all.